What's going on guys? My name is Justin. Uh, you can find me on my YouTube channel, Poor Plot Productions, and I am actually a senior in high school. Um, I recently uh, got an email from College Express to go ahead and be part of be part of their vlogging team, and they make videos helping fellow high schoolers and fellow seniors uh, find their way and to have a much easier, much happier, much better senior year in high school. So today I want to talk about just senioritis. Now today is a perfect point to talk about senioritis for one reason and one reason only. And that's because today is actually senior skip day. At least I know it is for me. Senior skip day, if you don't know what that is, is the one day where they don't expect seniors to come into school. And it's one of those days where teachers actually won't reprimand you for it because they sort of expect it to happen. Now, this is a great, great time for senioritis to kick in. You know, it's the, it's the feeling of, well, I have a day off of school. I have a free day. I don't have to be in school. I don't have to do anything. And that's not true. Senior skip day, while everyone else is at the beach and everyone else is messing around with their friends, it's a great time to catch up on things you may have forgotten to do in the past few weeks, or even the past few days. Uh, myself, I've actually used today to do some homework I need to catch up on. I've used today, I've done some uh, online classwork. Uh, I go ahead, I've been working on college applications. And I've even been checking out the website of College Express right here. Um, I worked all summer one year and I built myself my own computer and it's been essential in helping me get through my senior year. It's, it's been great, it's kept me focused, kept me working well. Now that doesn't mean you have to go out and build your own computer, it just means that, you know, show some drive. You know, take the initiative to make your senior year that much better. Here are a few quick tips to make sure that senioritis cannot kick in and ruin your senior year. Probably, arguably the most important year of high school. Rule number one, don't let yourself get distracted. Uh, when you come home from school, I know the last thing you want to do is think more about school. But if you get home from school, you're still in the mode of school. So the first thing you do when you go home is sit yourself down and get to work on any homework you may have. You do, you finish up uh, classwork you need to finish, you do the homework you need to do, you do some of the studying you need to study, you just do that and you know, you'll realize how, just how fast it goes when you put your mind to it. Tip number two, if you find it harder to study, go ahead and find a study group. I know when it comes down to me, when I get home, the first thing I want to do is grab a snack, come into my room, and just start playing games on my computer. Unfortunately, that's not something you can do your senior year. So what I've done is I've had a, I have a group of friends, and every day we come home, we do our thing, we relax for maybe an hour or so, and then we hop up on Skype and we all start doing our homework, and we do our homework, and we study for tests, and you know we'll help each other out. And the beauty of having a study group is when all of us are working together, there's no way to get distracted because you can joke around, you can laugh, you can you know, have a good time. So you're always, you don't wanna leave your computer or if you don't have a computer, you can use your phone or you can go to a library. But the point of it is with your friends around you, there's not the urge to get up and walk away. There's the urge to stay there with your group and with your group just so happens to be the homework that you're trying to finish. Tip number three. Uh, don't be afraid to take a break. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed. Um, it's very, very easy to go ahead and you know focus so much on school and so much on work that you start to burn yourself out. And you don't want to have a burnout your senior year because that just takes whatever sort of senioritis you may have and makes it that much worse. So don't be afraid to take a break. If you're studying for a test and you've been studying for four hours straight and you start to feel like you're getting overwhelmed, go ahead, get up, go for a walk. Uh, maybe watch some TV for maybe 30 minutes. Uh, Instagram for a little bit, you know, put a post on Snapchat. You, what you want to do is you want to make sure you get enough fun in your day that you can go right back down and do some more work. Now, that does not mean to start procrastinating. You know, you go ahead and maybe watch one show on TV and then come right back to work. Go ahead and make yourself a quick snack, talk on the phone with your friends for 30 minutes, come back, get back to your work. There's a difference between taking a break to keep yourself from being overwhelmed and procrastinating because you don't want to do the work. And those are my three quick tips to have a successful senior year and to successfully ward off senioritis to ensure that your most important year of high school, your senior year, goes off as well as you want it to. Uh, thank you guys all for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you uh, can expect to see more from me in the future. And don't forget, if you want to go ahead and find me, you can find me on YouTube at Poor Plot Productions. I can also find me on Twitter at JmanHersey. And you can also, don't forget guys, College Express, their website, collegeexpress.com, as well as, you can find them on all forms of social media, at College Express. 
Look out for them, guys. They are fantastic. They have such an amazing website and such an amazing database to get you the scholarships you deserve and the scholarships you'll need to get through college and get out with pretty much owing as little as possible. Um, I use it. I know my sisters used it and my parents love it. So go ahead. Don't forget, guys. You can find me on YouTube, Poor Plot Productions. You can go. Don't forget. Go to their website at collegeexpress.com as well as find them on all forms of social media at College Express with an X. And I will see you guys all in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.